All right, so this problem here says solve for b, if b minus a times m is equal to r. It's going to be the exact same steps as solving for an equation, right? You want to solve for b. So first thing you do is you're going to get rid of the parentheses. So you're going to distribute the m through. So again, because they're letters, it might seem scary, but don't let it scare you. It's actually easier than numbers, right? Because what's b times m? m right right so you don't have to think of numbers what's negative a times m negative a m right is equal to r the next thing we want to do is we want b to be sitting all by itself because we want to solve for b right so here's my b b's right here Anything that does not have a B, I'm going to push it to the right side. So in my brain, I'm thinking to myself, I want B on the left side. This does not have a B in it. How do I get rid of this? To add its opposite. So it's op the opposite of negative AM is positive AM, not PM. <laughs> um, positive AM. And whatever you do left side, you must do to the right side. So again, the language is still the same of what I'm doing. It's just using letters, right? So therefore, on this left side, the negative AM plus AM cancels out just to become a zero, poof, disappears. I'm left with BM is equal. Therefore, my answer, or the right side would just become R plus AM, right? So the right side is just R plus AM. You can't add these two together or you can't combine them, right? They're different animals. Okay.